and through the model of the mind was born the idea of the psychosexual stages of development so according to freud's theory of personality um sexual pleasure or the drive of sexual pleasure is one of the most important drives in human development now we don't know why but freud seemed to be particularly um emphatic and obsessed with the idea of sex and sexual desire and the sexual desire as a driving force in determining um so if if i think um and i've read a lot of freud i think that if you sat with freud today and you spoke to him he would think that every problem we face in society is something to do with either a repressed sexual desire or a sexual sexual desire that is unfulfilled and you know or it is energy in your sexual drive which is being underutilized so he would take everything back to to that particular drive and um that's what made him so radical for his time because you can imagine that europe at that time was aristocratic um the royal family still was alive of habsburg uh, the viennese um, austrian royal family and uh, you know things were pretty pretty orthodox and conservative you can imagine you know if india um, about 20 years back that was 20 30 years back that was if maybe europe was even more conservative at that time so um, it was it was quite a radical thought to go out in public and say you know what it's the sexual desire and drive that causes all human behavior problems and uh, that's why he faced a lot of and on top of that he was a jew which anyways um, hitler had heard about him and hitler didn't like the idea of him so he he, he was exiled to uk so that hitler didn't kill him um now he called this drive this sexual drive the libido what he felt was that there is this energy within you as a person you have energy you are made up of particles and those particles emit a certain amount of energy and how much energy you have and where it is focused in your body and in your psyche depends on your unique situation your unique um, build up as a human being we are not the same in terms of our energies uh, and where we store them now according to freud uh, most of our energy is stored in this particular sexual drive and that's why he called it the libido and he felt that a lot of uh, unutilized energy lying in the libido is the problem uh, un, un, un uh, or not unexpressed sexual desires is is the reason why uh, people have all these issues in their life now he felt that how did this drive how did this um, how did it affect us as human beings so what he felt was that what he says is that um, you're born with this with this energy you're born with energy concentrated in your libido but that energy focus changes throughout your life so there are zones erogenous zones according to freud where the energy focuses um throughout your developmental years and that changes depending on which stage of development you are in and if the particular conflicts between the id and the developing ego and super ego are um are resolved in that particular psychosexual stage then the energy is focused on to the next erogenous zone but if it is not resolved the conflict between the id and the super ego and ego then the energy remains focused in that particular stage uh, and the erogenous zone zone of that particular stage and you can't mature or move forward to the next stage now the erogenous zone is a body part that is sensitive to erotic stimulation at that particular stage like i said so each stage has its own zone and we'll come to this you will understand it better once once i explain it uh now these were the three erogenous zones according to freud in the body one was the mouth the other was the anus and then it was the genital area and your your uh, psychosexual developmental stages were related to these zones the child's libido or psychic energy like i said that you're born with is related to the sex drive that is focused on one particular of these three zones based on the stage of development so think of it like a tank full of energy it just keeps changing position um depending on the zone depending on your age and which stage of development you're in 
Now, what happens is, like I said, if you don't resolve the developmental conflict of one zone, you cannot progress to the next zone. And um, for example, let's start with, let's say a child who's an infant. Now a child of a particular stage has a need and an infant has a need to nurse or breastfeed. Now, if these needs are not met, then frustration can occur. Similarly, if too much of the need is met, like for example, you're being breastfed all the time, then it can also lead to a reluctance to progress to the next stage. You know, we see that childlike behavior of clinging, clinging to the mother, inappropriately clingy to the mother at a certain older age. It could be, it could be a sign of maybe overindulgence, you know, from the mother. So overindulgence of a particular, you know, in a particular stage of development. So both frustration and overindulgence, so depriving and overindulging can lead to the child's libido or sexual energy being permanently fixated in that stage. Now, Freud called this the fixation that could be a source of the problematic behavior. If all conflict surrounding that stage is resolved, the child is able to develop normally and move to the next stage. If not, then those resulting fixa fixations can uh, lead to problems in personality. So like I said, your conflict between your id and superego is the main conflict that you need to think about. Now that conflict is basically, basically being played out in that particular stage of development, in that particular erogenous zone. If you can resolve that conflict and move on, then you're going to be a well-rounded, mature, developed human being. If not, then you're going to lead, then you're going to be fixated in that particular in that particular stage, and you're going to remain in that stage. And hence, your behavior is also going to be problematic as an adult because you're not supposed to be behaving like a child who is stuck in a particular erogenous zone or a particular psychosexual stage. This is basically what the theory is. Uh, just a little infographic on what it is. So this, these are the stages, uh, the oral stage. It's from the birth, uh, from the time of birth to one year, one and a half year old approximately. And the main erogenous zone at this time is the mouth. Then comes the anal stage, which is from one to three years approximately. None of these timelines are fixed, okay? So there, it's different depending on different individuals. But this is approximately, according to Freud, this is approximately the timeline. One to three years of age and the erogenous zone is the anus and it is related to the bowel and bladder control. And um, then there comes the phallic stage from approximately three to six years where the erogenous zone shifts to your genital area. And uh, this is the time when kids also, even today, you can observe if you have children of your own or if you're teaching children, you will see that this is a time when kids become very hyper curious about their body and about the fact that they are different from boys and girls are different from each other and things like that. The latent stage or latency period is from six to approximately puberty when the libido, uh, okay, I don't know why they've used the word inactive. It's not really inactive. It is more dormant. So it has its activity going on, but the activity is passive. It is in the background. It's not really coming to the forefront. Now, for those of you who've understood Freud's model of the mind really well, you will understand that the superego has a huge role to play in this latent period because the superego is making the libido dormant so that you can focus on other things that are required to become a normal human being, like forming friendships, uh, becoming good in your studies, doing sports. So if you are, if all your energy is focused in the libido, which is coming from the id, you won't really become a well-rounded human being. So the superego steps in at the age of this. This is the development stage of superego. Um, the super superego by then is fully developed and step, steps in and says, okay, Ed, you know what? Now we cannot afford any more libido uh, because we need to become, um, you know, a well-rounded individual who focuses on other things. So let's uh, let's dial you, your your intensity down, and uh, you keep doing your thing, you keep doing your activities, but but we are not coming up to the to the conscious mind. So you remain you remain dormant, and, and all the while the id and the libidos are are, are uh, actively developing, but the energy is being focused into other things like. Um, school work and things like that. And then finally comes the genital stage when it's puberty. This lasts until um, you're, you're alive. So basically all your entire, your entire adult life is the genital stage of um, 
psychosexual development where you are maturing, you have maturing sexual interests. And this stage, basically, Freud never really explained the stage in adult life really well. He was more focused on the teenage years. But I do believe that um, some people do get fixated in a certain earlier year of their genital stage. So like you have some 20 year olds who always remain like 20 year olds. They don't really behave like 60 year olds. And I do believe that that is a problem of fixation at the genital stage. So, um, you know, you do see some adults who are not able to mature throughout their life. They do mature to the point of 25. And then let's say their development stops after that. For some reason, they remain fixated in, in the earlier years of their life. So I guess that could also lead to problems in your adult life, you know, not accepting certain things that come with uh, older years of your life. Mm-hmm.